we are Anomaly University students for our agro industrial tie up program. You are allotted your unit. On behalf of that, can we have a kind discussion with your unit? You are all welcome. Take Thank this. you. Now we are in JP Biotech Vermicompost Production Unit which is located 7 kilometers from Virudhunagar main town. Now we are going to discuss about various aspects of Vermicompost Production with Mr. R. Palniswar. The raw material like farmyard manure, plant stubbles, fire pit waste, prismer, what hands it, are collected from nearby rural areas. The collected raw material is used for filling the tank. Before filling, pretreatment of waste material is important one. The size of the tank varies based on the availability of waste material and marketing capacity. The tank is covered by green shad net to avoid the high temperature and high amount of moisture loss. Harvesting and yield. The harvesting time depends on the earthworm population. If the temperature is high, then the earthworm population will be low. After filling the tank, the worm inoculation is carried out. Worm inoculation. After inoculation of worms, fresh cowdung slurry is sprinkled over the bed. The bed is covered with mulch material to avoid moisture loss and maintain the optimum temperature. Mass culturing of beneficial microbes from started culture. Enrichment of vermicompost. After harvesting and sieving, vermicomposts are enriched with microbial inoculants like Bavaria, Bospobacteria. Pseudomonas, Trichoderma, Asospirulum, each 1 liter per tonnes.
After mixing all inoculant, it is sprinkled over the compost material. After the enrichment, the enriched compost material are weighed and packed. 